Hello, time for tractor time with Mr. Mick. And uh, I found a book tonight uh, called The Cow Who Fell in the Canal. And uh, it's by Phyllis Krasilvosky. And uh, it's a book we read to our children when they were young, and I just remembered what a fun book it was. And the book takes place in Holland. And uh, places like that, the, the farms are very small. So I just imagine maybe if they had a tractor on a farm in Holland, it might be a small little one like this 40 John Deere toy that I have here. Uh, the 40 John Deere had a vertical two-cylinder engine, and it was a little bugger, kind of like the little Model M. So this is my imagination of a tractor. Tractors in Europe often were built similar to the 40 John Deere. So the cow who fell in the canal. Hendrika was an unhappy cow. She lived on a farm in Holland, where it is very flat. All summer long she ate grass. All winter long she ate hay. All winter and all summer she did nothing but eat. She gave milk to Mr. Hofstra, the farmer. Mr. Hofstra thought she was a fine cow because she gave such white, creamy milk. Eat, Hendrika, he would say. The more you eat, the more creamy white milk you can give. Hendrika loved Mr. Hofstra, so she ate more to please him, but she was unhappy. In front of the pasture was a road. Every day, Peter the horse came with a wagon to take Hendrika's milk to the city. Peter told Hendrika about the city. The streets are made of cobblestones, and the houses have staircases on their roofs, and the people ride bicycles, he said. Hendrika wanted to see the wonderful things that Peter talked about. She was tired of looking at Mr. Hofstra's house, the barn, and the windmill. The windmill wore a little porch, and it went round and round in the wind. It made Hendrika dizzy. So there's Hendrika, and she's talking to Peter the horse about going to the city. In back of the pasture was a narrow canal. In the summertime, a man came through the canal with a boat to take Mr. Hofstra's cheese to market. Hendrika liked the boats. She thought it would be nice to ride on a boat to market. Peter said the cheese sellers wore colored straw hats with ribbons. Hendrika thought that a colored hat would taste so good. Poor unhappy Hendrika. She longed to see something besides the house, the barn, and the windmill. Instead, she ate and ate and ate, and she grew fat, and then fatter, and then very, 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 very fat. She grew so fat she could hardly move. She grew so fat she could hardly see. And there's Hendrika eating and eating till she gets fat. One day she went farther and farther along the pasture. She looked neither right nor left, for she had eyes only for the sweet grass. And before she knew it, she fell in the canal. The canal was not deep, but it was deep enough for Hendrika to get all wet. And she was too fat to climb out, so she just stood in the water and ate grass along the bank. Mr. Hofstra didn't know that Hendrika was in the canal, because he was busy getting the cheese ready for market. There she is, falling in the canal. Hendrika was in the canal a long time. She ate so much grass that she became sleepy, but she couldn't sleep in the water. If only she should, could get back to the pasture. It was springtime and there were flowers to eat. She walked and walked along the edge of the canal, eating grass, and then suddenly she came upon an old raft. She pushed and pushed, and she finally fell onto the raft, and it drifted away from the bank. Hendrika went floating down the canal. There she is, floating away down the canal. Past the pasture went Hendrika, past the barn, the house, the windmill, and past the tulips, past the neighbor's barn, past the neighbor's house, and past the neighbor's windmill, past more tulips, and past another barn. Another house, another windmill, still more tulips, another windmill. Now Hendrika wasn't sleepy, too sleepy to open her eyes. There was so much to see on both sides of the canal. A whole row of houses with staircase roofs passed by. Then some children on bicycles. 
Look at the cow in the canal, they cried, and they followed after her on the road. Another row of staircase roofs passed by. Housewives were cleaning windows and scrubbing their doorsteps. They laughed to see Hendrika floating along. They too followed the banks, laughing and exclaiming. Soon a whole flock of people were running and walking and riding along the bank, following the raft and the, down the canal. Hendrika loved all the attention she was getting. She mooed with happiness. There she is floating down the canal and all the people are watching. Suddenly the raft stopped and two boys pulled Hendrika to shore with a rope. Hendrika broke away and ran down the street. It was hard to run on the cobblestones, but Hendrika was enjoying the city at last. On and on through the streets she went, with all the people following her. There she is running down the street, and all the people are still following. She looked in windows. She pranced into yards. She sniffed bicycles. There was so much for Hendrika to see. Just as Hendrika began to get a little tired, she arrived in a big square, and there were whole crowds of people. Here the men were wearing colored straw hats with streamers, and there were balls of cheeses piled high. There she is in the square, and everybody's selling their cheese. The market was just as Peter had told her it would be. And the green straw hat tasted just as good as she thought it would. Mr. Hofstra was there selling his cheeses too. Hendrika, he cried when he saw her. I thought you were at home in the pasture eating grass, not eating hats. A hat is to wear. He was so surprised and everyone laughed at his bewilderment. Mr. Hofstra pushed Hendrika into Peter's wagon and drove her home. There he is, driving her back home again. After that day, Mr. Hofstra made certain that Hendrika was safe in the pasture, and Hendrika didn't mind. Now she had so much to think about as she chewed the grass, looking so pretty in the colored straw hat with streamers. She got a straw hat, and she's back at home. The End The Cow Who Fell in the Canal